page 605, section 9.3. This section we are talking about log. For log, this section only have one formula. We have log base of a x is equal to y. So from here, they are give us in log recent format. We want to change from log to exponential. From log to exponential, keep your equal sign. The next, you take the x. The x, you go straight down. Then after that, you take the base. The base, the little a. The base is going real fast to the other side, become a big a. Then after that, because it goes so fast, you bump the y up to become the exponent. So this is how you change from log to exponential format. Now, sometimes they will give you in exponential format like this. You also can change back to the log. Okay, so let's look at number 18. Number 18. We have log base of 2, 5, 1, 2 is equal to 9. So here, they are giving us in log, 1, 2 into exponential. So keep the equal sign. Next, the x position is the 5, 1, 2. So 5, 1, 2 drops straight down. After that, you take your base. Base is the little 2. The base, the 2 is going real fast to the other side, so become a big 2. The next, you bump the 9 up to become the exponent, so become 2 to the 9th power. So if you use your calculator to take 2 to the 9th power, it will give you 512. Now, let's look at number 20. Num number 20. Number 20, we have log base of 100, 100 equal to 1. So again, we're going to change from log to exponential. Keep the equal sign. So here, the 100 is in the x position. 100 drops straight down. The little 100, that's your base. So that little 100 going real fast to the other side, become big 100. Then after that, you bump the, y, the 1 up to become the exponents. So that's the answer. Next, let's look at number 26, 24, number 24. We have log base to the 64, 2 to the 1, 6. So keep the equal sign. Again, keep the equal sign. 2, okay, the 2 again goes straight down. That's your x, right? Go straight down. Then after that, your base is the, the 64 going to the other side, so become big 64. Then after that, you bump the 1, 6 up to become the exponent. So that's how you solve. Next. Let's look at number 26. Number 26. Here we have log. Base of one eighth and one half equal to one third. It doesn't matter what kind of weird number they gave to you, it doesn't matter. All we need to do is just follow the steps. So, step one, keep the equal sign. The next over here, the one half goes straight down. The next, your base, the little number that's your base, go to the other side, so become big number, become big one eighth. Then after that, you bump the other number up, the one third up, to become the exponents. Now, let's go back to number six. Now we're going back to number six. Number six, we have three to the six is equal to seven to nine. So here, they're giving us in the exponential format, we want to change to the log format. So here you can see, we are down here, we are in this. Okay, we are over here now. We are in this part right here. We want to change back to the exponential, the, the log format. They give us in exponential, we want to change to the log format. 
So by compare this, you can see the order. Okay, the order there actually what reverse. So step one, you're gonna reverse everything back. Okay, switch both sides. So be seven two nine is equal to three two the six. Then step two, you write down the log. You write down the equal sign. Seven two nine. That's your x position, right? So seven two nine again goes straight down, becomes seven two nine down here. Then the three, the three, that's your base. So three go back here to become your little three, become the base. So since the three going back disappear, so that six drop down to become big six. That's how you change from exponential back to log. Now let's look at number ten. Number 10 here, we have 36, one half is equal to six. So step one, switch both sides. So six here, equal to 36, one half. Step two, you're gonna write down the log, you write down the equal sign. The next, six, that's your x position, so six goes straight down, okay? Six goes straight down. The 36, that's your base. So 36 go back over here to become little 36. Then after that, you drop the one half down, become big one half. That's how you change from exponential back to log. Next, let's look at number 12. Number 12, we have Q roots of 3, 4, 3 is equal to 7. So same thing, step one, switch both sides. So 7 is equal to Q roots of 343. Three. Okay, after that, we want to change the little 3 to exponent. So keep, keep the 7 equal to 343. Three. The little 3 become 1 third. Okay, so if you forgot this, go back to chapter 5. For chapter 5, remember if you have square root of x, one change to exponential become what? 1 half. You have little 3, it become 1 third. You have little 4, it become 1 fourth. You have little five outside, it become one fifth and so on. So here we have little three become one third. Then after that, okay, after the next step, write down the log, write down the equal sign. Then seven goes straight down. Okay, seven goes straight down. So that's your x position, seven goes straight down. Three, four, three, that's your x. So three, four, three, go back here to become little three, four, three. Then, the exponents you drop down to become big one third. That's how you solve from exponents to log. Now let's look at number 64. Number 64, here we have log base of 8, 8. For this part right here, make sure, you must make sure, okay, your big number must be the same as your base. Your big number sent as your base, then your answer will be equal to the exponent. So here, your exponent will be what? One. So your answer is equal to one. So if you don't see any exponents, it's not zero, okay? If you don't see any exponent, actually it's one. Next. Now, let's look at number 68. Number 68, we have log base of phi, phi to the sixth power. So again, you can see my big number, okay, here, my big number so are sent as my base. So my big number is sent as my, my base, my answer is just the exponent, so equal to six. Okay. Now let's look at number 76. Number 76, we have log base of two, one, two, eight. Now you can see from here, my big number is not sent as my base. So I need to make my big number sent as my base. So I'm going to take one, two, eight. I want to break down to see how many two do I have. So here, because my base is two, so I can use two. If my base is four, so I must use four. If my base is six, I must use six, okay? So here, since my base is two, I'm going to see how many two do I have. So two times 64, break down two again, 32, two again, 16, 2 again, A, 2 again, 4, 4 break down to 2, 2. 
After that, write down your log, base of two, we're going to write a big two. Now let's count. How many two do I have? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So be two to the seventh power. Now you can see, let's go back. Now the big numbers are sent as my base now. So my big number sent as my base, my answer just the exponent, so equal to seven. Now let's look at number 80. Number 80. We have log base of six. Here we have one over six. Now, my big number sent as my base, but my big number is what? At the denominator. We don't want my base on the denominator. We don't want six on the denominator. So I go move the six up. So this become, keep the log, keep the six. Now I move the six to the top. Since I move my six to the top, so I what? I gonna change my exponents become negative one. That's in chapter four, okay? Remember chapter four, we move up and down for the negative exponents. So here, my big number sent as my little base. So my answer just equal to my exponents will be equal to negative one.